Thanks for joining me on Fear No Art. My name is Elizabeth Alfano. Come with me as we go behind the scenes and get into the hearts and minds and souls of the creative genius. Yep, we're on the red carpet today, and we'll be speaking with director Alexander Payne and actress Reese Witherspoon. Thank you for speaking with me. You know, my favorite parts of your films are actually when there's nothing said. Thanks. When I think of Paul Giamatti drinking that bottle of wine at the grimy burger place, it's gut-wrenching oh, yeah, even thanks. now. And also, um, you know, at the end the of The Descendants. That grimy. Well, he's so sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of The Descendants, they come together over ice cream yeah, yeah, in front of the right, TV right. with no words. And I wondered if you could tell me as a director, and particularly as a writer, how do you build to those moments when nothing is said? Well. It's funny, say, how do you build to those moments? That is what movies most want. Movies mostly want silence. They want visual storytelling. Plays like dialogue. Movies resist dialogue. And as talky as my movies can be, uh, sometimes uh, I'm always happiest um, doing silent passages because they're more effective. Even the fact that you bring them up now tonight suggests the power. And I'm also a big, you know, silent movie fan, for example. And that's when the audience gets to bring their emotion to it. They get to sort of fill in those gaps as well. Anytime a film tries to tell people what to feel, either in dialogue or in uh, heavy-handed music, the audience does not participate and as, as much and is not as involved. Audiences want to, your question is spot on. Um, so you've been able to kind of surf the line, you get all this Hollywood distribution and, fan and fanfare, and yet your movies stay almost lovingly simple. Hollywood seems to stay out of the script. I wonder how you get away with that. I do too. I can tell you just on, in a practical way, I, I keep my budgets as low as possible, so there isn't as much pressure on me to, to sand off, uh, you know, rough edges or make it more spectacular. I think real life is much more spectacular than anything uh, that can be contrived. And so I want, I, I try to make movies with recognizable people and situations. And Real so, people. Yeah, and so far, like movies used to be. And so far, uh, my movies have been finding enough of an audience to keep me in business. I'm very grateful. And I hope that that stays that way. Um, I have heard that it said that uh, being a director is part dictator and part best friend. Could you elaborate? And my, my Polish directing teacher in film school used to say, Directing is 50% poet, 50% bastard. So, Which part are you? Both. <laughs> yeah. You've been very gracious. Thank yeah. you so much. You There's an artist and a creative spirit around every corner and on a few red carpets. Join me on the next Fear No Art as we get into the unique and fascinating world of the independent artist. Have you met my ties got straight. It gives it that rumpled look. I don't like that. Excellent. Right here? That was thrilling.